Professor Lynn Beasley may not be a household name, but in the science world, she's something of a celebrity. She's Western Australia's first female chief scientist and is a passionate advocate for science in the classroom, among other things. Tomorrow, she'll join the likes of David Attenborough when she becomes a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science. Conservation has been something that hold very dear to my heart. Hey, My name's Lynn Beasley. I call myself a science ambassador. I live in Perth. I'm particularly proud that I helped set up Dolphin Watch, which I consider to be one of the best citizen science programs in the world. As Chief Scientist of Western Australia, the government wanted to make sure that we did have a stable dolphin population. Yes, three, four, four, yes, look at that. Three, three. <laughs> <laughs> we got them. Yes. I had a love of the water and the sea from very early on. I'm an only child from a place, Gravesend. It's a town halfway between London and the end of the Thames estuary. I went to a state school and only just passed an exam to get into that school. And that's one of the reasons I'm so convinced that I want to work with school kids to give them every opportunity. Hi, my name's Lynn. While at school, I had a lightning moment where we visited Charles Darwin's house. That was one of the few school excursions we had. And I looked through his microscope at his specimens and that was it. I wanted to be a scientist and I've loved my life in science. Do we want animals to go extinct? No. Absolutely not. I think every single kid loves science. Most of them like dinosaurs from day one. And they've asked questions of their parents about, why is the moon up there? Why is the grass green? Yeah. Refraction? Refraction! You've got it! We have to keep that thirst for knowledge and that curiosity alive. So what are you doing in this school? We clean up the rubbish so that um, it doesn't go inside the ocean. I would love to see everyone embracing the need for change, for climate change, and working for it. And even if you weren't to believe in climate change, we don't want pollution. We don't want our oceans full of plastic. So let's look at how we can make the world better. I managed to um, be accepted at Oxford University. I think, a bit like Slumdog Millionaire, they asked me only the questions to which I knew the answer. At Oxford Uni, there were 10 men for every one woman student. So from the earliest times, I could see that getting gender balance makes a big difference. My field of study was the brain. I went to one lecture and heard a doctor say he was researching how to fix up the brain after injury, and I thought that sounded so fascinating. Without her work and the work of the other people in her field, then we would know much, much less about brain damage and recovery from brain damage. So that's the I've been lucky to have two species named after me. One is a sponge which has the potential to help people with a very intractable form of breast cancer. The second species named after me is a fossil shark. Just found a really good recipe Hello. here. I met my husband Richard Tarala when he was almost completing medical school in Edinburgh. So to make some of those for the grandchildren. We decided that we were going to move to Australia. It's the best move we've ever made. For science, I think there's no better place in the world. I've been elected a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science. It's such an honor. Please welcome Professor Lindley. It is seen as a recognition of a life of very fine work in science, about science, and for science. People outside science should care about it because it is a big deal, and what it does mean is that in the Australian population we have some of the most eminent scientists on a global scale that you can possibly imagine. I can see them so clearly. It means I can work with others who are really leaders in Australia to address issues that I think are really important or to join them in issues that they have developed. 
I love the feeling at the end of the day when your head hits the pillow to think I've made at least a bit of a difference for the world to be better than it was yesterday. And when I feel that, I feel really good.